welcome to our Photoshop tutorial on how to change hair color. Now, as with all my videos, um, I'm operating it on what they call is the uh, latest version of Photoshop 2019, which you don't need. Now, uh, with all my tutorials, they're based on how to do anything on any version of Photoshop. So, so we don't do any keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that. We just go straight to the nitty gritty. All right, now she's got blonde hair. Now we're gonna turn it to, let's say, a red hair. Give her a red hair. Okay, now on the left, on the right hand side here, we've got on the layers section, create new layer, just here, right next to it. Just click on that, a new layer comes up there. Now that's what we wanna be using, that's what we wanna work with. Now on the left here, we've got the zoom tool, which a lot of you already know what it is all about. So we're gonna go, without further ado, go straight into it. Now basically what we're going to do, we're going to draw a different colour on a different layer. Then we're going to change the blend mode and then that's how we're going to get the result that we're after. Now on the left hand side here in the bottom here, as you can see, in case no one's done this before, you can select the colour that you're working with here and straight away it comes up with this green here, which shows you exactly what colour you're going to pick. So we're going to go for a red colour like when it when it's going to come up it's going to be darker than what it is um now the paintbrush tool on the left here now paint brushes brush settings if you haven't got all these these little boxes on the right here coming up like you know brush settings and brush settings what you do you go up to window and then all that you see brushes that's there brush settings all those little bits and pieces things characters channels all that bits and pieces are all there so I'm not going to touch all that. So now I've got the brushes up. Now I'm just going to get a nice, doesn't matter what size brush, you just muck around with the size up and down here on the right, see? So with the brush settings, you've got you know, the size and there's your preview of what it's going to look like. If you want to give that nice sharp look, you can change the angle, and the shape of the actual brush. See how it changes like that? So what we're going to do, I'm going to have it nice and sharp like that so that we can get a nice defined edge around her face, oh, her hair. Alright, so what we're going to do now, holding the shift key down with using the mouse just to move it around, get the paintbrush tool, now we've got, we're all set here with the colour and the size, and we're just going to start painting over her hair. Now we're going to go really quick with this process, this part, because it's quite boring just watching me do this so stand by for a sec okay guys now we've done that part now what we're going to be doing on the top here of the brush settings these little windows um, where the X is along that line there Click on that and you can actually do the window around. So we want layers. So basically we've got the top one selected. Alright, now what we're going to do, we're going to go from normal, which is the blends, normal. So you can go to dissolve and look what happens to on the red on the left hand side here. Darken. That's quite red. Multiply and darken. They're pretty much the same color burning. So basically what we want to do is have it so that the colour changes but it's transparent so you still see all the shading and everything else in the background. So look, you can go through all these different ones, all these different things. Soft light, yeah, but if you use that, you're going to have to do some extra work. You want the least amount of work that you have to do to get the result of the after. So just going through all these different things here, green here, there you go. Wow. There's a nice looking colour. That's a huge saturation. The saturation yellow colour. There we go, luminosity. So we're gonna to go to hue. There we go. So now she's got a nice reddish kind of hair and it looks more realistic. So there we go. Now around the edges, um, see here that's good, that's fine, there's no problems at all. All around here is all okay. Make sure that we've still got the colour selected. Now, if you're going to have to do any changes. So see in here, where I've gone over the edge, 
Okay, we're just going to use the eraser tool. And the eraser tool erases whatever you touch. Okay, now it's in the right hand side here, you've got the brush settings. Now we're going to have to bring this down because this is a small little area that we're going to be working with. So basically, we're just going to go like this. As you can see, we're just going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see exactly what's going on here. And just feathering like this because it's hair, so we're just keeping it not sharp, we're keeping it a nice, rough, and rounded um, brush that we're using for this one. So just, just going around like this, just very softly getting around, getting around just like this. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking perfect. All right, now if there's anything that we need to move further on, what we're going to have to use is the smudge tool. Now the same thing as usual. Whatever tools that you pick on the left hand side here, on the right hand side of the screen, you the brush settings. Everything's got a brush setting size. All right, so now just going to go back to what we're doing here. Now, I'm just going to move it like that. See how the pink is moving? Now, it's not, that's not enough. So, up the top here, we've got what they call the strength. Now, the strength is only 40%. So, I'm going to take it up to 100%. All right. Now, the effect here. Now, watch what happens. See, it goes all the way now. Like that. Just keep on working your way to it like that. Okay. So go back to the razor tool and just fill it around. If you wanted to make it so that it's not so hard, the result, you just go up to the opacity up here. The brush size we've already got opacity, you bring it down. And what happens see, it's not doing it too hard, too harsh, it's actually blending it more, a lot better. So all these really bright pink areas, this is what I don't want. I want it to blend in more. But um, that's basically how it goes, guys. That's basically how we change hair color. Now, by all means, you can, you can change whatever you want if you want to change the hair color to another color, you can go back into hues and saturations and stuff like that. I'll show you how to do that now. All right, so now we've got a red color. Now, if we want to change her around to, let's say, no, oh, no, go up to adjustments, image, adjustments, come down to hue, saturation. Okay. Now it comes up with this window here. I'm just going to zoom in so you know what we're talking about. All right, so you can go to master and we can go to red. Okay, we go for master and if you change this slider bar, it changes the game. Yeah, now she's got blonde, go to blue. Oh, that's a bit of a yellow blonde. Go back to what we were, pick this red. So we go right down to that kind of color. How good is that? Wow, oh, get some nice details in that. So you can change the saturation as well, make it more vibrant. And the lightness, you can take make it darker. It's really not changed too much. If you take it too down, it goes grey. Up, probably goes to white. Or close to it. Okay. So I think. That will do us for this tutorial. And that's basically how to change someone's hair color. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you soon.